So Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, big empire, he's killed in Bosnia. Now the Austrian government is furious to find out that some of neighbouring, rogue elements of neighbouring Serbia's government had helped supply weapons and things like that to the assassins. So they decided to teach the Serbians a lesson they would never ever forget. So Austria wants to crush Serbia, but little Serbia wasn't alone, that's the problem. They've got a big huge mate, Russia, they've got a huge army, they're not going to let Serbia get pushed around. So Austria can't take on Russia by herself, they look around, they've got a big ally too, Germany, most powerful army in Europe. Many Germans think, well war against Russia is inevitable, let's, do, let's take them now while we have the chance, we've got a good army, we've got a big advantage over them. So you've got Russia and, and Austria and Serbia against Germany and Austria. But uh, the Russians can't take on the Germans alone. So the Russians make a deal with the French, they've made a deal with the French, that they'll, the French will get involved if Russia's at war with Germany. Germany knows this, so it makes a plan to deal with both the French and the Russians. It sends most of its army to attack the French before turning to attack the Russians. And in order to give the French a really good kicking to increase their chance of doing that, they send most of the German army, the plan is to send through Belgium, round the side of the French army. It's a brilliant plan, except one little detail. Belgium is neutral, so uh, everyone's agreed to protect Belgium, including the British. Now the problem with the British, they're the biggest empire in the world, it'd be silly to annoy them, but the Germans take the gamble that they won't mind about the Belgians, and even if they do mind, they won't be able to get involved quick enough because the Germans will have beaten the French by then. So, Austria attacks Serbia, Russia stands up to defend Serbia, uh, France agrees to stand by Russia, and then Germany sends thousands of troops through Belgium to smash France while dealing with the Russians. This brings Britain in, uh, and all the European powers now at war, they drag in their empires, Canada, India, most of Africa, Australasia, place like that. Eventually most of the world would be at war because places like the Ottoman Empire in the Middle East, Brazil, China, uh, the USA, they're all dragged in by the fighting as well. Basically everyone called each other's bluff and found out they weren't bluffing. The war that resulted destroyed empires and ruined millions of people's lives.